What's going on everybody? This is Travis from Canada at the Movies and today I will be reviewing for you the brand new Netflix film known as The Mother. Now, it stars Jennifer Lopez. It is about Jennifer Lopez's character who is known as The Mother. Yeah. And basically she is an FBI agent, super agent exactly, and she is basically pregnant and has some people that are getting ready to come after her and her baby. And then she gets attacked, stabbed in the stomach, and then she has to put her baby into a witness protection agent, into a witness protection. And throughout this film, there are still people trying to get her daughter 12 years later. Now, I will be honest in saying more than anything, this is probably about the most Netflix action film you're gonna get. And if you're wondering why I mean by that, you're going to see a lot of bland writing. Please get the writers strike over with. We, we need it. <laughs> we need the writers badly pay them their money. Um, you're getting bad acting tropes. You're getting a whole lot of the stuff you see in a lot of action films of you hit the dramatic music and they'll be like, she can't do it. I'm one of the best ones you've got. All that type of stuff, you know. So, you know, it's gonna hit those tropes. And then it hits tropes in a movie to where you kinda need more backstory. Like, this movie is two hours, and this movie acts like this is the third film in the franchise. Cause they're bringing about all this past glory, all these past things that the mother did wrong in her life before she had the baby. And they're treating the audience like, we know this already. If they would have said this was a sequel to something, it might have helped this movie a little bit more, but the fact that I'm going into this movie blind and I'm just like, I just met this character. I don't know what she can or cannot do. And, you know, it doesn't work for the movie. And then especially they do weird things in the story where it's just like, Jennifer Lopez's character wears a beanie at the beginning of the movie and at certain points in the movie. And then after 12 years later, she finally sees her daughter and she's stalking her, which is very strange, but she's an agent, so you know, that gets passed over, but she's weirdly stalking the daughter and thinks they have a connection because they both have a beanie on the same head. You know, this could be a, this could be a, a easy, a bad movie review, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna at least try to make people check this movie out to see the badness in it. And then it's just like the movie keeps going and she runs into people from her past and still the story's acting like we know what's going on. We don't. None of us know what's going on, writers. I don't know why they feel that we do, but we don't know this. This is the first movie of this mo of this weird film and everyone thinks that we know what's going on. Um, the more the story goes on, the little girl figures out that J-Lo is her mom with the quickness before the first hour is even up. So you're really just sitting there just like, okay, what's going on? Um, I I will say the daughter, she did a, a good job to displaying a 12 year old wanting to figure out who her parents are. She did a very fine job. I just feel like the writing was horrible in this film to where it just made you feel like they weren't even trying. Um, And I mean, they keep hinting at the daughter has these skills like her mom, which even with this movie being right near two hours, you know, she learns like like that. Once some type of conflict happens, she learns it so quick. So, you know, um, and then the lighting in this movie is at sometimes it is bright as hell. And then other times it is dark as hell. Now, I will tell anybody, as long as you like action films and you just want to watch something, it's, it's a decent watch. You can be in and out. Nothing to challenge your brain. Unless you're people like me where you just start wanting to question things that happen off screen. And then there's no explanation for it. And then they start playing this woman's work by Maxwell. Who was sung by. Which this cover was sung by somebody that could not sing this song at all. I don't know. <laughs> this movie is... Uh, gentleman's D minus. I'm gonna give it 
I'm gonna give it a D minus, not an F, just because they tried. But hey, let me know if, you, if you're gonna watch The Mother. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this film. If you noticed the cliches after you watched this film, please let me know. But by all means, this is Travis from Canada at the Movies. We appreciate you all. We love you all. Peace.